Good afternoon, everyone. Dave here, live from the shed. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. So uh, there's something a little fishy going on at Amazon.ca, and uh, I don't want to make any unfounded accusations, so we're going to do a little digging here uh, to take a look at this. So what uh, tipped me off to this situation is a tweet by Derek Smith, the author of How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom, which is a a book that's just been going crazy uh, around this country. Being So I see it popping up all over the place. Actually, I had a tour of the House of Commons when I was in Ottawa the last couple of days, and I saw a copy of it sitting on one of the desks. So it's made its way into the House of Commons, into the, the Parliament buildings of Canada. And, and uh, But the author of How the Minister Stole Freedom, he uh, put out this tweet a few days ago. I find it funny. We were setting sales records every day. Then late after being on Viva Frey, who, as you would know, is a very popular Canadian YouTuber with over half a million subscribers and covered by Rebel News, which, again, very popular conservative media outlet, uh, the most popular in this country. We suddenly lost 75 percent and are stagnant. Coincidence or is Amazon suppressing the book? Hashtag Trudeau national disgrace. Trudeau destroying Canada. So. This book, after being on Clyde Do Something and my show and getting all sorts of uh, great media coverage, was making record sales every day, uh, selling in the thousands of copies per day. And then he got picked up by Viva Frey, who's the biggest YouTube channel yet that he's been on, and uh, as well as Rebel News did an article. And yet, all of a sudden, starting to lose 75% of his sales, according to the data, which is, of course very suspicious. It's not a guarantee of anything, but I wanted to do some more digging. It seemed highly unlikely that after appearing on two of his largest news outlets yet, that the book would all of a sudden crash in sales after making record numbers. So we're going to go right over to Amazon's own information here to uh, dig into this a little bit. So first uh, page I'm going to show you here, this is the Amazon charts for this past week the top 20 most sold and most read books of the week. So here we can see sitting at number one for, this is the third week on the list, three weeks as the number one best-selling book on Amazon.ca is How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. Now, interestingly, we have some newcomers here. at uh, We see on number spots two, three, and rounding it off at number four is a series called The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And uh, this book jumped 11 spots. It's the only one that's been on the list before. This is the second week it's on the list and it jumped 11 spots to number two. Uh, The other book in the series is the first on the list, first time on the list, and it's sitting at number three. And the other third book in the series is sitting on number four, also the first week on the list. And down on number five, is a very popular book. It ends with us. That's been on the list for 54 weeks. That's been bumped down to number five. But we still see here how the Prime Minister stole freedom, the number one selling book for three weeks in a row. So, you know, nothing immediately suspicious there other than some newcomers to the list. Although these books have been out since uh, 2013 from what I was looking at, but are now all of a sudden appearing on the list. Okay, so that's the best-selling books of the week. And now I'm going to jump over to um, the the best sellers of 2022. So if we look at... So these are the best-selling books so far in 2022, right from Amazon.ca. And we see the number one best-selling book of this year so far has been It Ends With Us. Again, I told you a very popular book that was on the bestseller list for 54 weeks. Not surprising that it's the most sold book of this year. And then right next to it in number two is How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. And it only started selling in the last few weeks. So understandable that, um, uh, I mean, it's incredible that it it's at number two already, but Uh, behind It Ends With Us at number one. And now those books that we saw that jumped onto the list this week, we got to scroll down 
quite a bit to find them on this list of the best-selling books this year. We see there's one of the books, The Summer I Turned Pretty, is sitting at number 18 on this list for the year. And we've got to keep scrolling way down. And we get to the next two books are at number 29 and number 30. So these books that now have appeared on the best-selling books of the week are sitting at number 18, number 29, and number 30 on the bestsellers list, which uh, doesn't entirely seem to line up, but maybe that doesn't bother you at all, but it, it gets even stranger. So now we're going, this is what I found really strange. So now we're going to go to their bestsellers list period. So this is the most popular items on amazon.ca. And uh, as you will know, How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom for, for three weeks was sitting as the number one best-selling book. And as I showed you on their weekly things there, you can see that it was sitting at number one for three weeks. And now, out of the blue in the last few days, all of a sudden we see these books, The Summer I Turned Pretty. Um, book number one in the series is sitting at number one. Book number two in the series is sitting at number two. And book number three in the series is sitting at number three. And now How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom is down to number four. And that other title I showed you before it ends with us has been pushed down to number five. And then a very successful book here too, where the crawdads sing, is down at number six. So what's going on here? Well, perhaps, you know, benefit of the doubt that these books are a breakout seller in the, you know, in the last, it would have to be just the last couple of days because they weren't the number one selling book for the last three weeks, how the Prime Minister Stole Freedom was. Um, but perhaps they're a big breakout in the last couple of days. But this is where it gets interesting too. So I'm going to show you the reviews. Well, let's start with how the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. So if we jump over to the reviews on how the Prime Minister stole freedom, you would expect for a top-selling book, there should be, let's go to the most recent reviews, there should be lots of recent reviews from recent purchases, and of course there is. Here's how the Prime Minister stole freedom. We've got reviews, the 26th, the 26th, 26th, these are all from uh, just today. We've got reviews flying in, a whole page of reviews from just the 26th. We go to the next page, more from the 26th, the 26th, down now to the 25th. But pages and pages of um, very current reviews from recent purchases, lots of reviews flying in. So that makes sense for a top-selling book, that there'd be lots of reviews coming in. Well, so that's how the Prime Minister Stole Freedom, which is sitting at number four. Well, let's go to the supposed number one best-selling book currently on Amazon. So we'll jump to the reviews here and uh, let's take a look at their recent reviews so the first review in for the apparent number one best-selling book right now was yesterday june 25th so not totally out of whack but no reviews in for today yet the next review well, we're jumping back to june 16th and now the third review on the list for most recents is way back in april of uh, this year and then we get to february and November of last year. So now we're still on the first page of reviews and the reviews are going back to 2021 already and December 2000. Now, yeah, now just a couple of reviews from 2021 and now we're into 2020 and 2019. And so uh, the most recent reviews, because, well, not surprising because this book was released back in 2013 that uh, it was more popular back then. And uh, it's just kind of had a trickle of reviews since then for the last couple of years. And it's not just that, not just the number one best-selling book that we see that. Let's go to the number two best-selling book according to their list. We'll check out the recent reviews. And June 18th was the most recent. And then back to April. Now we're in January. September. Now we're back to 2019, and again, on the first page of reviews, we're already jumping back a couple of years to uh, people who've uh, verified purchases and reviews of this book. And as you can imagine, the same pattern continues for the supposed number three current bestseller. Let's go to their recent reviews. We've got um, 2000, June 11th, uh, and then we're back to May. 
May, we're down to April, December, November, January, and then already we're back to 2020. And again, so according to their list, the top three current best-selling books in Canada, the first page of reviews takes us back two years already for verified purchases. And let's compare, as I showed you, compared to uh, The Prime Minister Stole Freedom, which has pages and pages of reviews from just the last couple of days. And a similar pattern if we go down to It Ends With Us, which um, we should see reviews within the last few days. Sure enough, yeah, here, June 23rd, 22nd, 22nd, June 22nd, June 19th, June 18th, June 17th, June 17th, a whole page of reviews for the month of June, <clears throat> which if it currently is a bestseller, would make complete sense. And you'll notice still though, not not the same bombardment of reviews that How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom has been receiving because it's been selling like hotcakes. Uh, the author told me there was one day where there was 4,000 copies sold in one day. And so the reviews are flying in as you can imagine. So this book, like I said, this one here, it ends with us, has been on the bestsellers for 54 weeks and it's still on the bestselling list and it continues to receive positive reviews on a regular basis. But very strange that the top three best-selling books, according to Amazon.ca, which came out of nowhere in the last couple of days, only have a handful of reviews from this year even, uh, a couple from this month and only a few from this year, and then the most recent reviews go back several years. But somehow they are now the top one, two, and three selling book. Conveniently, first book in the series, second book in the series, third book in the series. Now, I started to ask, well, why would Amazon do something like this? What's what's their motivation for, you know, they maybe they don't, obviously, it's not surprising that they don't like the message of how the prime minister stole freedom, uh, being the more left-leaning crew that they are, but they're making money. They're making good money on this book. They get uh, They get more money per book than the author does. And so why would they want to repress their own book? Well, Interestingly enough, I found out that uh, Amazon has conveniently is starting a new streaming series with the first episode has just come out based on this book. So Amazon Prime is now streaming a show called The Summer I Turned Pretty based on the best selling books. Uh and uh, that seems like a slight conflict of interest that there's these fishy, fishy numbers for some new books that have popped up on the best selling list. And it just happens to be a new Amazon original uh, called The Summer I Turned Pretty based on those books. Now, again, the release of this show could potentially have soared this book to the best sellers list. But as I showed you, on the reviews, it really doesn't seem to show evidence that the sales have have skyrocketed since the release. Uh, this the first episode of this show. Well, I guess the whole season started streaming on June sixteenth, and so if we were going to see a massive surge, you would think it would have been back when the show dropped on June sixteenth. But uh, as I showed you, based on uh, the reviews and on the bestseller on Amazon's own bestselling list for the last three weeks. How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom has continually been the top-selling book for three weeks straight, going back to um, before this series released and continuing after the series released. And uh, and yet they have gone and declared that the books, which happen to be based on the show that they themselves have produced and are pushing, uh, I saw a YouTube trailer for it, and uh, they're pushing out this show, uh, on their own streaming service produced by them. And what do you know that the books that this show of theirs is based on have now all of a sudden magically been accelerated to the top three books on Amazon.ca, uh, which uh, seems a little too convenient, uh, to, to say the least. And again, if the evidence was there that this book has taken off and lots of people are buying it, then it might be believable that maybe the show gave it a boost, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of that. And uh, it seems that instead they don't like this book uh, because Derek has been quite happy to 
uh, talk about the fact that this is the number one best-selling book on Amazon, and you see lots of articles listing it as Canada's top-selling book. And I don't think they liked that that headline very much. So what do you know? It's been magically bumped to number four. I mean, they're not super good at covering their own tracks because they're still showing it as the top-selling book for three weeks in a row on their most sold book. But they've gone and altered the top 100 list and moved this one down to number four. And I mean, if they want to, you know, it's a private uh, company. If they want to push their own uh, products, then by all means, but make it clear that it is an advertisement, that you are advertising your product, that you're pushing out this book because you have a show based on it. But this is very um, suspicious. And I want this, this needs to be properly investigated. I encourage other people to look into this because if if legitimately they are top selling books, you know, may the best author win. Of course, we're, we're free market capitalists. We're, we support competition. And if these books are really top selling books, then then that's great. And I'm sure that that Dan would be uh, uh, happy to say that, uh, you know, oh, or sorry, Derek rather would be happy to say that, uh, yeah, a, a more popular book is beating him out. But if you're going to push your own product, push your own product, but we need to know that you're pushing your own product. You can't pretend like, no, this is an organic growth that uh, that people are actually really excited about this book. And uh, we need to know that when it's an advertisement, I want to know that it's an advertisement. And uh, I, I'm going to, I delved a little deeper into Derek's uh, Twitter and there's another suspicious thing going on. If that wasn't suspicious enough, is he started to have uh, reviews actually getting deleted. He's had people contacted him, say they left a review on his book, and it disappeared. Uh, here's uh, one example that was hidden by Amazon's sensitivity filter. The author says, It appears to be printed by Amazon. They are clearly making a killing. My two copies have the well-known spelling mistake, the, not three. Someone really should be looking into this. And so this review was simply pointing out, as many of you will have seen in the first release of this book, there was a spelling mistake, but that was, uh, I talked to the author and that was Amazon's mistake. He checked his draft that was sent to Amazon and it was spelled correctly in his draft. Amazon somehow in their production messed it up. And this reviewer was pointing out to Amazon that they made, that there's a mistake. And for some reason, that review was uh, filtered out by Amazon's sensitivity filter, but that's not the only one. Uh, I can show you another example of a review being blocked uh, by Amazon. So this person, they previously released um, a review where they were, you know, poking fun at Justin Trudeau, and then it was blocked by the sensitivity filter. And so this is his uh, new review, which made it past the filters. This is a great book that hits the nail on the head of the situation in Canada in a very lighthearted way. However, there are many people demonizing the book, some of which are staff at Amazon and their suppression of opinions that don't fit the company's bias. Amazon has allowed numerous posts to go up demonizing the organizers of a peaceful protest and her supporters, but they warned me and probably others about writing a now rejected post that condemns and mocks Justin Trudeau, his supporters and those that rated this book poorly. Those are facts, Amazon. They are not against the community guidelines. You're obligated to post this review. So... I wasn't able to get what his original review was, but presumably he was having some fun at Justin Trudeau's expense uh, based on his style of writing. It, it doesn't seem like it would have been that wild to review, but his previous review was deleted. And so he had to write this other review. And uh, I, I reached out to, to Derek and he's had um, other messages like this of people having their reviews deleted. And again, I just want uh, consistency. So, if uh, if if Amazon is going to delete reviews that are mean and nasty, then hey, just make sure you're doing it on both sides. But is that the case? Well, I don't think so. So let me show you reviews, some of the one star reviews. Uh, some of you will have seen these before. So uh, Amazon, if if they're going to delete you know reviews that are mocking uh, Justin Trudeau or, or mocking one political view or another, then they better delete ones on the other side but of course they do not if we go to the one star reviews on how the prime minister stole freedom 
there's uh, no end of of mocking and uh, uh, stuff unrelated to the book. You know, here's one extremely innovative, a book for people who can't read. It's one of the most innovative ideas I've heard of. However, don't expect anything resembling a coherent thought. And again, if if you know if he wants the 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 he or she the writer of this review wants to express that opinion, then uh, you know fine. But Amazon don't delete negative reviews that criticize one person and then allow another one that uh, mocks others. You know they go on and on. This book is obviously written by and for the privileged who seem to feel they are always fighting for something in order to stroke their fragile egos. And perfect. It's a kid's book for the unwashed, mouth-breathing children who attend this waste of gas. And they go on and on. And, uh, you know, just shameful, et cetera. And uh, again, so, you know, all I call these companies to is, is to be fair. You know, if you're going to have uh, community standards and you're not going to have reviews that, that mock a certain person... Um, what what's this one here? Why would someone would write a children's book about white supremacists leading criminals to Ottawa to overthrow the government with an MOU because they support racism and fascism is the only answer or they just sell garbage to people who consume it. And I can't imagine that the reviews that Amazon deleted criticizing Trudeau got any more aggressive than that. I mean, that's about as <laughs> attacking as you can get labeling people supremacists, racists, fascists, etc., you know, selling garbage. And so if you're going to leave these reviews up Amazon, then you can't go deleting reviews that criticize the other side, uh, because that's just, that's just not fair. Um, and so a lot of, a lot of suspicious stuff going on here at Amazon, we've got reviews getting deleted. And yet on the other side, uh, negative reviews, which are attacking the author and people who buy this book are getting left up there. The book is clearly moving units uh, very fast. But uh, as Derek pointed out in his tweet, and as I verified with him over text, is all of a sudden in the last few days, sales have just plummeted uh, seemingly out of nowhere. And these three new books have all of a sudden been placed at the top one, two, and three best-selling books with no evidence that they are actually current best-selling books. But conveniently, they happen to be uh, books that a new Amazon Prime TV show is based on, which uh, can't help but feel that uh, there's something strange going on there. So I'm going to keep digging into this and keep, um, I've been going back and forth with Derek and he's been collecting information on this and uh, the more verifiable information he can get can help him towards potentially eventual lawsuit. If uh, he reached out to Amazon, Amazon simply told him nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Everything's normal. Uh, don't ask any more questions, essentially. And so he's collecting information, uh, potentially, which could lead towards a lawsuit. If they are uh, suppressing sales and uh, manipulating numbers, then that's important for him and other authors to know. So if you guys have ever, if you've left a review and had it deleted, um, if you've had long delays, perhaps getting your book that you've ordered, if there's any other thing fishy going on, I encourage you to reach out to me or to uh, Derek Smith there on Twitter and uh, let us know and uh, we'll keep collecting information and I'll pass that along to him um, because uh, this this is not right. If it's a best-selling book, it's a best-selling book. You know, allow the people to, to have their choice. He works hard to ensure that there's nothing, uh, there's certainly nothing criminal in that book. It's lighthearted, it's fun, it's, uh, it's factual. It simply states what happened and... Uh, quoting our prime minister's own words back to him. So encourage you guys, if you have any more information on this, I would love to hear about it and pass that along to Derek. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to go to amazon.ca and buy How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. And please leave a positive review. If your review does not go through, I would like to know about it. But if you haven't had a chance yet, go to uh, Amazon, look for How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom, get the best-selling book, and what is actually the number one best-selling book in this country, as much as Amazon would like to pretend that it's otherwise. Uh, get this book out, share it out to your other influencer friends, and uh, let's make sure it's obvious. I would really like to uh, see this. We're going to try to get this into some uh, major outlets, and, and Derek's going to keep tracking 
tracking the numbers to see what's going on there because um if if when he looks over his graphs it's very obvious to see when the different stories broke and those align with sales as you would expect but all of a sudden he he got a covered coverage on viva Frey and on um rebel news and saw no spike in his graph in fact a massive drop in sales right about the time that three new books magically appeared on the bestsellers list so something strange going on there and i'm going to keep digging into this um, but if you haven't already head over to amazon get the how the prime minister stole freedom uh, the number one best-selling book in this country and let's continue to keep it that way uh, as much as amazon would like to pretend that it is not the case we know what's really going on. So uh, thank you for uh, for checking that out. I encourage you guys to share this out. I want the truth to be known. If I'm missing something, if if you guys find some details that I'm missing that shows that, in fact, that that those books, uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty, are, in fact, the best-selling books in this country, then, uh, then I want to know that. And I'm not trying to uh, bash another person, another author's work. Uh, very good to that author to get that book made into a show and everything. That's awesome. But we just want to know the truth. <laughs> yeah. Deaconuck says how Amazon stole book profits. Yeah. Upcoming book by Derek Smith, no doubt. And it's interesting, the longer that I'm in this social media game, the more uh, I hear about uh, this manipulation, these uh, things that go on behind the scenes. And we need to call these things out when we see them. We uh, simply, we want the truth out there. So if this really is the best-selling book, I want to know that. But it seems very clear to me that uh, something fishy is happening at Amazon. Things are being manipulated. Uh, and uh, for those who are are following things with, with James Top, I um, encourage you guys to get on out there June 30th in Ottawa. The arrival of James Top, everything is on schedule. He will be making it to Ottawa for June 30th, and uh, you guys can join in for that and uh, looking forward to the Canada Day celebrations and let's get out and celebrate this incredible nation even as we continue to stand for freedom. Um, every day, honestly, I'm hearing more stories, heartbreaking stories. I was uh, contacted by someone who works for OTIP, which is the Ontario Teachers Insurance Plan. And after many years of faithful service, they are being let go because they chose not to get the jab. Uh, this woman is two years away from retirement, two years away, and she was just recently told that she's going to be let go and fired if she doesn't take the jab. And this is recent. This is where we are in June here. Um, mandates are dropping all over the place. And yet OTIP and all its brilliance has decided to mandate this upon its employees, even to the point of firing a woman who is two years away from retirement, uh, an older woman and uh, who you know, ironically enough, is the one at risk, as they would say, and they've chosen for themselves not to do that. And yet they're going to be fired for their own protection. I don't know. But uh, this continues to go on these stories. I, If the country, if the world could only hear the stories uh, that I hear, and that's why I thank you guys for, for sharing out those stories. And we're going to keep telling those stories uh, about what's uh, really going on in this country, the heartbreak, the um, the hatred that's being pushed down upon people for making different uh, choices. And uh, we need to continue to share those stories. So this is far from over. Even as some of the government mandates begin to fall, there's still private mandates uh, going on that uh, our, our government has created a culture of discrimination, a culture of hatred towards those who disagree. And uh, it, we need that to stop Pappen. Thank you for the super chat there. It says, um, what about chapters.ca is the same thing. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. I believe he's exclusively on Amazon, and um, but I don't uh, know about that. And unfortunately, he it he wasn't able to, it's not self-published, so you can't buy it directly from his website as much as I wish I could uh, push people towards that. But uh, it's, uh, it's this catch-22 because you need these large platforms to get the exposure. And yet, uh, then you have to deal with with their craziness. So, um, yeah, we got to keep keep pushing, keep sharing out these these stories. Uh, I spoke to another gentleman. He was a janitor at a university that uh, he was fired after like twenty years, 20, 25 years working at that university. An older gentleman, 
and he was fired because, again, he wouldn't get the jab. I talked to someone last night who was working for a university remotely. Uh, They were based in Switzerland, and they were working remotely for the University of Waterloo, and they were told that they would be fired if they didn't get the jab, and they're working from another country. And, uh, And then when I talked to him, he told me his brother is in Montreal, and he's also working for uh, a university in Ontario. And uh, he was also told that if he didn't get the, the jab, that he would be fired as well. And this is recent. This is happening like right now, <laughs> working remotely in in another country, uh, to say the less, than in another province, in the other example, and uh, being told that they'll be fired if they don't get the jab. Now, tell me somebody what the science is behind that. Uh, how that in any realm of imagination makes sense. This is uh, this is not science. We all should be aware of that by now. This is politics. Our politicians have taken uh, a medical issue and made it a political issue, and it continues to go on and on and on, and it doesn't seem to uh, have an end in sight yet. And so I encourage you guys, like I've said many times, that don't join them. We're not fighting fire with fire. We want to uh, fight these attacks with love and understanding, try to have these conversations and uh, and try to open up that dialogue that we're not looking to divide this country. We're looking to bring it back together and heal these divides. So uh, thank you to all who continue to do that. I look forward to seeing you June 30th in Ottawa for the arrival of James Top. The marching schedule has been posted and you guys can join in with that. And uh, then we'll see you Canada Day as well. And wherever you are, wherever you're celebrating Canada Day, uh, let's, uh, let's celebrate together in unity, uh, even as we continue to, uh, to stand for the country that, that we love and the country that we want to return to its former glory. So I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that and I'll catch you guys, uh, next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.